It's hard to believe, but not all people realize that such a large part of our present and future lies in computer programming. If you still use a typewriter and carrier pigeon, I'm talking about you. Now, one group is making sure that the women of tomorrow are on the right techie road by paving the way with girls who code. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Screens like this are the norm here. Girls Who Code is an organization that was founded with the belief that computing skills are a critical path to security and prosperity in today's job market. But recent statistics show women make up only 24% of all computer scientists, a number that has been shrinking. The people at Girls Who Code aim to change that through intensive learning that takes the form of after-school programs, camps, and immersion in the discipline of computer science. We've reached over 50,000 kids in all 50 states. To put that into perspective, only 10,000 women graduated in computer science last year. So we think that we can close the gender gap by 2027. This is Reshma Sajani, founder of Girls Who Code. I went to New York City to meet Reshma, where we talked about cultural shifts and young change makers. It's like we've created this culture that says, you know, for math and science, you're not cool. It's not for you. It's a boys thing. And our girls are listening, and we have essentially turned them off. And so we got to shift culture to turn them on. Who does Girls Who Code serve? Yeah, it serves all girls. What we do in our classrooms is we build sisterhood and community. We have girls who are black, who are Latina, who are gay, who are trans, who are Muslim, you know, who are Hindu, who are coming together from all walks of life, and they're building friendships, and they're solving problems, and they're learning things. So it's this powerful, transformative experience for a young girl. Here it is said that the demographic of Girls Who Code is the demographic of our nation. We meet girls where they're at, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, you care about solving homelessness? Like, let's build an app to do that. You want to find a cure to cancer? Let's build an algorithm to do that. Reshma has a background in law and politics, but her decision to start Girls Who Code was particularly audacious when you consider her computer science background. When I started Girls Who Code, I was not a coder. I was a failed politician. And I had the audacity to start something. And I learned that bravery is a muscle, that if you keep exercising it, you'll have the courage to do anything. I go to work every day because I care about inequity. My parents came here as refugees, and I'm standing here because of education. And I want to make sure that every single girl has a shot, has a chance to march up into the middle class, like I did. And what kind of feedback do you get from the girls who have been through these programs? There's not a day that goes by that I don't get a text message or an email or an Insta or a Facebook message being like, Girls Who Code changed my life. A vision of the future built on a foundation of integrity with leaders fixed on coding the way to a better day.